Hello and welcome to this update of Cinetracer. Today we're going to check out these two scenes that I've made here. And the first is going to be showcasing the new child actor system that has just been added to our lovely metahumans here so that you'll be able to make scenes just like this. So with the child actors, the secret sauce behind them is that they're just regular actors. We are just scaling them. And to get to that, we're going to go to the body tab and body scale, and we have some presets. So that's what our normal adult looks like. Then we have a teenager, elementary, and preschool. I just did it based on schools, uh, school age roughly. And we can do this to any of the metahumans. And it's surprisingly effective, uh, I think, uh, at getting the, the idea across that they're younger without having to actually have different models. And if you want some more nuance with this system, all this is is basically these four sliders, and it's mostly the global scale scale here if you want to make giants um, or very small people, possible, and the head size. So just generally as you make the um, actors smaller, if you keep their head size a little bit bigger, um, and this is up to you, uh, they generally look like children, and that's what the presets uh, are doing basically. So um, as child actors, they still work with the normal uh, meta furniture snapping system. In most cases, this is of course just using regular static poses and uh, animations just yet, but they look great and uh, allows us to use the same clothing and everything we have so far, we can just scale them. So even sitting uh, is working pretty well scaling, at least for the static poses for the animations, it doesn't work as well, but I'll be changing that in the future. So this is a really great upgrade for people that have been wanting to be able to pre and make scenes with kids. Hopefully this is going to work out uh, in that case. So we're going to put this uh, small metahuman on the table and look at some of the other things that are possible with the animations. It's pretty funny how gigantic the regular size metahuman looks um, as soon as you start having the, uh, the child scaled versions in there. So we're going to switch to animations and uh, luckily the way that the the tech stack is set up is that the animations and all the extra tech that goes into making this work works really well uh, with the way that i've implemented scaling so all the mocap animations and all their secondary helper bones and all that other anim tech stuff is working really really great so we can have them in pose mode or we can have them with the animations uh, when they're sitting it doesn't work as well with chairs when they're animated but um Again, in pose mode like this, you can see that we're moving them around. The table interaction is a little buggy, but if you put them on the little targets on the chairs, that even if they're scaled shorter, uh, it's designed in a way so that they're still going to land close to where they should be and just need like a little bit of adjustment and the kind of auto-posing system with the furniture also works. Very nice. So that is an overview of the child actor system. would love to see uh, some of the scenes that you're going to make with this and tag us on Instagram and I will most likely repost them. So this is just a little look through the camera dolly here. And uh, they look like kids. Hooray. As far as new clothing options, uh, I'm making a lot of clothing for the metahumans, for Cinetracer, and for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And I'm just working through the different kind of technologies and techniques that are possible uh, and testing them in UE5 for the future and for UE4 for Cinetracer right now. So these are the new techwear outfits. And what's special about them, as you'll see in a second, is that the straps on them are being cloth simmed. And I'm doing more and more cloth sim for the metahumans as well, which is, looks especially uh, appropriate for uh, when they're moving around. And this is one of my latest ones that I'm working on right now. It's just for the male metahuman at the moment. And it's a top coat, so kind of like a dressy outfit, and it, it works with like any of the pants and just kind of shaking out the other metahuman to show the cloth physics. So that wraps up for this update. I mean, it's mostly the child actor system. Uh, it's been a big request and something I've wanted to test out as well. Makes them super useful. And we have some more clothes, and there will be continued to be more clothes at least till the end of the year. Uh, that is the focus, and I'll see you on the next update. Peace.